Hello everybody, it's Christine. Time for a scrapbook process video. And the collection I'm using today is Be Happy by Echo Park. And the funny thing about it is Scrapbook Flavors of the Month must know me well <laughs> because this came in my Flavors of the Month for July. So same collection and I had bought this at convention. The funny thing is there's a second collection that comes in the Flavors of the Month that I had also bought at convention. So uh, I'm kind of like, wow, they, they really picked the stuff I love. So anyway, that's the collection of paper I'm gonna use. I did pull out some black cardstock because um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up using it. And then the pictures I have, I have 12 little pictures. Um, I printed off on my selfie over here. It's basically, it's our new nutrition club. Saturn, let me know. Um, it's our new nutrition club. So I took a bunch of little interior photos because that's kind of what it, you know, it's what it looks like. And then I took a little exterior photo and then our little grand opening thing. So I just want to document our new little club here. And so I think it's going to end up being a two pager y'all because there's just so many pictures. So I got to think on it because I'm thinking I'm going to like, you know, somehow I haven't even figured it out. I'm just kind of like organizing this thing. Maybe I'll do it. <clears throat> I wish I could figure out how to make it look like a little hexagon. What do y'all think if I do something like this? Well, I don't have, I don't know y'all. I got to think about this. Hmm. Anyways, I got a lot of pictures. This point. So I'm gonna, um, I need to kind of figure out my design and I need to figure out my papers here. So give me just a second, I'll be right back on. Okay, everybody, quick check-in. I think what I'm gonna do is organize the pictures like this because it does give me like a little space for something here. Um, and then I did put my hive, or my hive, my um, hexagon dies because I think those will be nice and clever. And then I pulled out these three sheets of paper Excuse me, that's four seeds. This is what I think I'm gonna use. These two right here, I think I'm gonna use to cut out the little hexagons. I don't know about this, I say that. Maybe not this one, because that's already hexagon. So maybe just the heart paper. And then I have these, and I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking what I may do is something like this, and do like a simple, you know, torn edge deal. I'm thinking, I gotta think on that just a minute a little bit, y'all, because I kind of still need like a horizontal element, and I don't think this sticker sheet has a border, but I do have some black borders. I don't know, I have to think about that for just a minute. All right, so anyway, let me cut my hexagons because I know that's gonna take me just a minute. Um, I really don't wanna cut mats for all these photos, which is why I'm kind of thinking so hard about this because I want it to be where they'll show. What I could do is just pop them all up though, y'all. What if I just put foam under every one of them? That would be look, I thought actually look kind of cool. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put like these two down here. And then there is this cute cut apart. This is Hive Rules, Be Honest, Be Calm, Be Positive. So that could be cute too. So I gotta figure that piece out. If I put the thing on the outside, that might work. So that's where I'm kind of at. Um, let me cut my hexagons and I'll be back on in a minute. Okay, gang, this turned out so stinking cute. I'm not gonna lie. So I have got my yellow um, horizontal stripe here and I'm gonna tear these edges. And then I think I've actually already torn, have I already done it? I think I've already torn the edges of my honey, uh, the little hive paper. And I'll, I'll, I've already cut those or I plan to cut those. I'm not sure if I've done that yet or not. So these two pieces here, I've, I've laid them together and then I've cut this or torn the sides. This is something I've seen Shannon Aller do and it's kind of a nice way to make sure your edges match up. And then I'm going to split it because they're going to go up underneath the edges of that, that paper there. This, um, good Lord, what's that called? A hive, a little hive paper. Yeah, I've already torn the edges. So, um, I cut that down the middle and I want to build my little vertical torn element thing here. And that doesn't take too long. That's so I've got those done. I'm going to glue those down. So I'm going to cut away in just a second because it's just, you know, gluing these papers together. I will tell you, I kind of start to booger up the one because I put glue on the wrong side of the little horizontal strap right there. But anyways, I get those glued down and I thought, I mentioned in the intro, I was going to use like a horizontal element. I don't actually end up having to do that because I have cut all my little ho uh, hexagons up there too. You can see those in the upper part of the film there, or upper part of the uh, screen there. You can see all my little yellow heart uh, ho hexagons. God, I can't talk this morning, y'all. Anyways, I'm, I'm figuring out the order of my, po my pictures here. I'm just laying these out, and it's kind of the, basically this from, you know, if you imagine like reading, it's from left to right, it's kind of walking into the club and like the view and stuff, so the point of it is just to show, you know, what you're seeing, and I sat on the stair step 
design. I think I mentioned that, but I decided the stair step because I'm going to put the title in the upper right up there, and I'm going to use my hexagons to fill in my visual space here. So I don't actually end up needing a um, horizontal element because these, these hexagons do a lot of the work for me visually. And I really enjoyed this, actually. I was kind of proud of myself for coming up with it, even though it's not, I mean, it's a hive and, and or bees and hexagons kind of go with that. So it's not like it's uh, that unique a thought. But I was really proud of myself for remembering that I had these little dies and, and um, smart enough to use them for my bead paper here. So I'm just going to organize these in a way that honestly just kind of fills the space and makes me feel like, I don't know, it just, it's taking up the space, I guess is the right way to say it. I'm just kind of organizing it where it's visually, you know, just looks interesting. And now this one here down here is messed up because I shouldn't say messed up, but when I had to cut it, I didn't have quite enough paper. So I ended up with a little hole in the top of that one, but that's okay because it went up underneath these two pictures. So that's basically how I'm going to organize this stuff. So I'm going to cut away to glue it all down so you don't have to see that. And I'm going to pull out my sticker sheet. And I have two of these, as I showed you, because one came in with my Scrap Room Flavors of the Month, and one was already in the kit that I bought. Now, I've already made a couple layouts of this paper. Um, if you go to my Instagram, you'll end up seeing some of them, because I did do these at the convention, so there's not videos for them, the ones with this, this collection from before. But I will end up sharing them on my Instagram at some point, so you can always go over there and check it out. But I'm going to build my title block in the upper left little um, hexagon there, and... I'm calling it just, uh, the journey has just begun. And I'm going to put a few little bee things. I love these little bees with these little trails. I think those are so cute. So I'm just going to kind of use the hexagons, almost like a grid layout in a way. Like they're each going to have, I shouldn't say all of them are, but um, I'm going to kind of build like little clusters kind of on some of the hexagons here just for the, the sake of, you know, they're like little tiny mini layouts or whatever. So I'm just going to build, um, put little stickers on here. And I do use several of these little bee flying bee trail bees um, and then I do take a lot of these little like pansies I think they're pansies little yellow flowers teeny tiny little flowers I do put some of those on some of the little pictures too so just to kind of bring that over but this is just the little bees and they're so cute y'all these little bees are just adorable this is a great little collection I, I did use I've used it basically two other times um, one layout was about me and my husband and then one layout was about my, my daughter and her boyfriend so they're kind of like little lovey ones so this one's a little different. I have one more set of photos I think I might use. Uh, it was with my husband and my the girl that is works for me. She's They were doing like little construction stuff um, in the club here. So we had to do some DIY stuff. Not I mean, I had contractors, but, you know, we had to do some uh, shelf hanging and TV hangings and things like that. So I've got pictures of my husband doing that. And there is a little sticker on here that just says like busy little bee or something like that. So I may do a, a layout with that. But um, this collection is just, it's pretty versatile though. And I put some, just kind of got my stickers going around everywhere. I think I may put my journaling in the card, the, the hexagon that's in the upper left of the cut apart card. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned that either. I don't think anyways, y'all. So my apologies if I say it again, but the cut apart there, well, the mat I had was a little too short. So I ended up tearing the bottom of the cut apart um, to actually just, I thought, you know what? I can tear it and it kind of has the little torn edge like the main pieces there. So, and then I don't have to have another mat. So that's what I did to kind of overcome that because I didn't want to cut a whole other piece of cardstock. So I thought it looked cute. So then I did my black enamel dots. I do like the shine here. And then I did the yellow on the black. So I've got black on my little yellow hexagons and then I'll do my yellows on my black cardstock. And that looks kind of cool. I think I like the contrast. And I think I ended up with uh, five little sets of clusters of the dots. I think I'm not counting them right now, but um, and I don't do any mixed media or anything like that because I do have a lot going on. I mean, with the patterns and then the pictures themselves, you know, there's a lot of the, uh, there's 14 pictures, y'all. I got 14 pictures on this darn thing. This I was kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> it was a good way to capture all this stuff. Using those little pictures can help if it's just like a story that you don't have to see lots of details. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do the layout, y'all. Here's the close up so you can kind of see. I look, I put a foam under underneath all those pictures. I think that looks great too. I love that. Um, and anyway, so that is the side the left side and then i'll have the right side you'll see that thank you guys so much for watching um you are welcome if you happen to be in the sherman texas area that's north texas if you come by the club i'll give you a discount just ask for christine anyways thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time bye